Okay. So back to Kulu's question. Suppose you are a, and again, to Kulu, let us know if you have that second question. Uh, suppose you're a two contract trader. Is it necessary to take the first scale at one to one risk reward? No. No, it's not. Um, I am not a fan of our multiple based scale outs. So I don't care if it's, I always scale half off at one to one. So I'm in a risk free trade. I kind of hate that. I always scale at two to one. I always scale at five to one. I exit all my position at six to one. I don't like that line of thinking because that is us imposing something on the market. That is us saying, this is what I like. This is what I look for. Market, give me that. Here's, you know, deal or no deal. That's what we're doing. I like to have my scales more dynamic, adjusting for volatility, which yours could as well, risk reward multiples. If you have a wider stop for wider volatility, you're adjusting your scale out to be bigger as well. So I get that. But just saying, I want to come out at one to one. See, if I, if I, am I sharing? I don't even know what screen I'm sharing or what's going on. Let me use a whiteboard here. So I don't know why it doesn't let me do that. Okay. If I am two different scenarios, let's say I get into uh, two different trades that happen at different speeds. Okay. And if we want to look at bars, this one might happen like this. Okay. And this one might happen like this. Okay, so faster. What does faster typically mean if you know you're using, you know, whatever type charts? Well, you know, in this one we could easily work an entry somewhere around here, probably. Therefore, our risk is this big. Okay, therefore, the one to one scale out is I'm just ballparking it, you know, somewhere in here, either the top of this bar or just shortly thereafter. Well, guess what? On this case, we might have to get in up here because we moved away from where we were stalking long so quickly. Therefore, your, your stop is you know below the swing unless you want to risk putting it in here and getting taken out more easily. Guess what? You know, your risk your reward is, is above the above the drawing where I run out of room here. So I think in scenario A here versus B. I think I can squeeze more risk reward. Let's say that this was the prior swing high up here. Well, guess what? I can if go for the prior swing high or some other market generated reference. Like the other side of DVA, as Luis mentioned, whatever the case may be. And guess what? I could pull 2.25 to 1 on my first scale out because I had a nice small stop. Over here, I'm pulling, you know, 0.7. So I prefer to be dynamic. I prefer to look at what the market's offering and take more where I can and take less where I have to. That is more intelligent trading to me. And maybe intelligence is the wrong word, but it's more letting the market tell me what risk reward is available and when and where I want to scale or exit or whatever, whether it's order flow, whether it's patterns, whether it's standard deviations around VWAP, whatever it is, I want to use that information rather than fixing risk reward multiples because I want them or because, you know, whatever. Now, if you go do and do some kind of like very in-depth back test and you show me the hard data of this is what I'm doing and why, you know, I'm, I'm not going to tell you not to do that.